Fine. My name is, are you guys ready? Uh, whenever you are, okay. My name is Dale Isaac, I-S-A-A-C. So there's no S on the end of that? No, okay. no S on the end of it. All right. And? I am Sharon Isaac. Spell your first name for me. S-H-A-R-O-N. Okay. So I'm going to start with you. And just tell me, how did you guys end up at Covenant Village at Turlock? Well, my mother was here for five years before she passed away. I had been raised in the Covenant Church as a teenager, and uh, I moved up to Turlock back in 94, and so I was quite familiar with Covenant Village. And then when she was here, it was a very pleasant place. And so that's when we were looking around to decide where we could retire, to permanently retire, to have someone else take care of us we decided that this would be the place. Sometimes the men in, in a relationship say, she brought me here kicking and screaming. Was that your case or were you like, let's go for it? No, I was not kicking and screaming. Uh, before we made our mind to come here, we also visited at San Diego and we visited at Mercer Island in Washington, uh, plus some non-covenant retirement communities in Oregon. And this place stood out very friendly in relationship to any place else that we've been, more so than even the other covenant retirement communities that we did visit. And uh, I knew without children, without relatives, we need to pos position ourselves for the future. So I was excited about coming. And, and for the benefit of people who may not be familiar with, what do you mean by position for the future? Taking care of herself. I had the responsibility of taking care of my sister, and I knew how much work that was. And it's unfair to ask relatives to step in and do that. We had that responsibility to do it now while we were young and to choose the place where we would like to live. And so that peace of mind, I guess, comes from the fact that here you are living independently, but if that need ever happens, mm -hmm. Exactly. What's there for you? Exactly. Well, I think one of the advantages here right now for us independently is making so many friends. There's a lot of great fellowship here and there's a lot of things to do. We have the billiard tables down below and we play a lot of billiards. We have the fitness center. I have no excuse not to exercise. So I've been taking advantage of that. And as we get more feeble and we need to move into assisted living, we'll have friends that will probably move along with us because they will be here and it's sort of the community goes with you. And we really like that feeling to know that we won't be all alone. We won't be just stuck into some uh, old folks home and not know anybody there. Mm -hmm. So we really like that idea. How important was it for you to um, move to a faith-based community and one that's a not-for-profit? That's a very important aspect of our choice because being a Christian and living in this environment, this is your home and the environment is an extension of your home. So being a Christian, I like that feeling of having the family uh, with a faith-based uh, community. Okay. What's the relationship like between the staff and the residents here? Oh, they're very friendly. Uh, we all respect each other. We love the staff. We just, you know, we'll see them in the dining room and give the servers a hug and, you know, ask how they're doing and what's going on in their lives. And they're the same way. They greet us really friendly and enjoy, you know, serving us. It's, it's almost like they enjoy the pleasure of serving us. And that's, that's really satisfying. Would you say that's the culture of the community is familial? Uh, very definitely culture of friendliness um, and it's genuinely felt. It's not something that's put on by staff but it's genuine. You can tell mm -hmm. that they enjoy doing it out of their heart mm -hmm. as opposed to just a job. You kind of mentioned this a little bit already but so what keeps you busy here? Well, as I said, I do sew, and I do 
make things like the clothing protectors for the care center. I want to do projects that are worthwhile, not just needless little things that I, you know, can't don't have any use for. And I enjoy reading and we have a great library here. That's, you know, that's important. We have the billiard table and I wouldn't say I enjoy getting beat by him, but I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a there are a lot of activities that I can get involved in. They have a quilting uh, class that I try to attend once uh, twice a month, and so there and there are Bible studies around. There are chapel service. We have some great entertainment here. We had the Legacy Five just uh, what two weeks ago, and uh, you know other great venues that come by, and really we can just walk downstairs and enjoy it. And you can just walk downstairs and enjoy the dining. Is that one of the, the pluses of living in this community? The quality of food is outstanding here, and we really do enjoy it. I mentioned to Sharon when we first got uh, in the Get Acquainted visit, uh, felt like we were on a cruise. Uh, I still feel that. In fact, last week I mentioned to somebody downstairs in the dining uh, room, I need to go back up to the cabin for a moment. Uh, <laughs> A perpetual vacation. <laughs> I love that. I love that. How about in, in terms of the location itself be, here in Turlock, proximity to San Francisco or Yosemite or whatever? I mean, you guys got it all within a, a for a day trip. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, amenities are close by. Shopping, what we need is here. Turlock has an abundance of churches to choose from. Um, golf courses are around. I like to play golf four times a week. Um, I accommodated you by canceling my golf today so that we could be here to talk to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so I do like the Turlock area. It's very pretty in springtime too with all the blossoms that are around. Yes, palm okay. trees. So one last question for both of you and I already know what the answer is, but your advice for someone who might be thinking about moving here and maybe on the fence, what, what would you say to them? I would say make the decision before you have to have it made for you. Come while you're younger so you can enjoy all the amenities because if you get too old then you can't do a lot of the things that, at least as well, that we enjoy doing here. And in it's a family atmosphere and so be ready to have an extended family as you, when you come into the community. Okay. And what would your advice be? My advice would always be, listen to what your wife says. <laughs> she did a great job of, of capsulating what I feel too. Make the decision while you're young, while you can enjoy it. You won't come too soon. All right. Thank you.